In the last part of this lecture, we're going to look at the comma mode gain for the source coupled pair. So what I've done here is I've taken our source coupled pair and I've coupled the two inputs so that we're putting a comma mode voltage into both sides of the, of the differential pair. Of course, this is the same transistor as M1, M2, and we're assuming that the drain resistances are equal. All right, well, if we do this, uh, one thing that we can do to make analysis easier is also to try and create a half circuit. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to take our current source and resistance and split them and have half of the current source drive one transistor and half of the current source drive the other transistor. Similarly, we're going to split our resistor into a parallel equivalent. So we need to double the size of the resistance that's driving each circuit. Well, if we do this, what we can uh, do is make an equivalent half circuit for this version and that equivalent half circuit looks as follows. So here we just have an emitter degenerated common source, sorry, a source degenerated common source amplifier. Well, we know that our voltage gain is equal to big GM times R total. And we know that big GM in this case is equal to minus GM divided by one plus GM plus GMB times the resistance seen in the source. We're going to ignore the GMB term here. So we're simply left with minus GM divided by one plus GM times two RS. Now our total, assuming that the output resistance of the transistor is very large is approximately just equal to RD. So we can say that our ACM is equal to VOC divided by VIC is equal to minus GM RD divided by one plus two GM RS. Now if we remember our common mode rejection ratio, how well our amplifier amplifies differential signals compared to how it amplifies common mode signals is equal to ADM divided by ACM. If we use ADM from our last lecture slides, we know that it was minus GM RD. And if we divide this by ACM that we just found, we find that our common mode rejection ratio is equal to one plus GM two GM RS. All right, so what we know about this is that for an ideal current source, RS goes to infinity. And of course, if RS goes to infinity, that implies that our CMRR goes to infinity. And this is exactly what we would like to see happen. So what we know about these source coupled pairs is that we would like to try and design them so that we bias them with a nearly ideal current source or a very high impedance current source in order to make sure that it amplifies differential signals well and rejects common mode signals. In the next lecture, we're going to start looking at using current sources rather than resistors in order to increase the gain similar to how we did active loaded amplifiers uh, earlier in the class.